everyone's talking about, you know, there's not enough diversity going on in the Oscars. But I feel like us black folks are winning during the week, especially the ladies, because on Tuesdays I have Gabrielle Union, on Wednesdays I have Taraji and Tracy, on Thursdays I have Viola and Carrie. What do you think about that? S who run the world? Sisters. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's dope. It's dope. And you know what? I, I, I hope that what we're going towards is that that not being um, out of the ordinary, you know, that that's starting to be just as, you know, you can turn on the TV and see Marsha Gay Harden, you can turn on the TV and see Viola Davis. I love that. I love that. To see strong, beautiful black women and women of color in general just doing their thing. That's There's nothing better. They're the mother of the earth. It's about time. They're actually seeing that we're important and, you know, people want to watch what we're doing. It's a tremendous time. Do we need award shows to validate us? You know, it's important for award shows just to honor what you're doing, to say you're doing a great job. I don't think we need it to validate us. We need the work to validate us. You didn't say me. So there needs to be some more diversity up in there. I need to be on a Tuesday. Uh, no, I think there's a... Uh, obviously, we're, we... Have progressed. There's a lot going on for African Americans. Uh, there's a lot of great uh, roles now, especially on television. Um, not as much in film, you know, as we should, you know. And I think there's, you know, uh, pebbles in a bucket, but we're moving and we, we want to celebrate the things that we do have. But we can't just say, okay, we've arrived. We still got a lot to go. We got a lot of stories to tell. So we're going to keep on pushing. But just to say that there is diversity doesn't mean that, you know, anything, everything that's systemically problematic is fixed. It's, it's ongoing. I just think we need, uh, I think this year was a little bit tough on the diversity end. Um, I'm in Selma, you know, I think David Oyelowo did an amazing job. And I know Ava DuVernay directed the best movie of the year. And I felt, you know, um, you know, just, it, it, it hurt me a little bit because these are my friends. And I was like, man, this, you know, it should have came out a little bit better. But, you know, all we got to do is just keep fighting and keep striving. I heard Spike Lee talk about it yesterday on ESPN. He's like, we just got to keep working hard. We got to just keep doing, just keep doing the good work. But it still hurts a little bit. The highest honor that you can get in this town is an Oscar. When you're on the big screen, that is the pinnacle of your career. The fact that there are no African-American women, men nominated. This, this, they call it the what, the blackout or the whiteout. I don't know how to look at it, but it's. It's just unacceptable. So do we need the Oscars and do we need awards to validate us? Girl, yeah, you know that we need it. My honey was an Oscar nominated actor. It changed his life. Michael Clark Duncan wore that as a badge of honor. So yes, we need it. But they need to recognize the contributions that we make. And that's not being done right now. Well, that's why this show is so important. That's why the, the Image Awards are so important. That's why it's so important that we uh, uh, attend and that we uh, uh, watch and support the NAACP and make sure that it keeps going because it takes up the slack. I think that people love to have controversy. I'm Honestly, the fact that Selma got nominated for Best Picture is huge. It's really, really huge. And I think another director didn't get nominated for Best Director either. Another one, I don't know which film it was. It might be American Sniper, I can't remember. But just being nominated, and, and the Oscars, it's all political and who cares? Who cares? The film is for the people. That's who it's for. It's not for just the Oscars. It's not for just the accolades. It's about what it does in the hearts and minds of everyone. Young people are seeing this film. My 10-year-old saw this film. It's enlightening and opening their minds. That's what it's all about. And then all those black women on TV, we love that. We love that. We're winning. We're winning. We're happy. No worries.